in the book of James, chapter 2, verse 16 through 17, he asked, And one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doth it profit? Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. So what is works? It is by an implication, an act, a deed, doing, laboring, an effort to move forward, to perform, to be occupied, an action or a motion. It's a physical effort, exertion, something done to bring about. Oftentimes, we lose focus of our creative purpose and get lost in our dreams, procrastination, and life distractions. Actor and motivational speaker Denzel Washington shares, dreams without goals are just dreams. Ultimately, they fuel disappointment. But on the road to achieving your dreams, you must apply discipline, but more importantly, consistency, because without commitment, you'll never start, but without consistency, you'll never finish. The book of James chapter two, verse 14 states, what does it profit my brethren? Though a man say he hath faith and have not works, can faith save him? Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. In middle school, our teacher asked us, what or who do we want to be? In high school, our teacher instructs us to write an essay of where do you see yourself in the next five to 10 years from now. Of these two questions, just as in life of being a parent, spouse, or enduring trials, temptations, and tribulations, the most important questions are left out. Why do you want to be this? And how do you plan to achieve, accomplish, to become such a title? Often in the classroom, the teacher will make an encouraging generic speech saying you can be anything you set your mind to be. Now let's fast forward this to 30 to 40 years later and you have come into the truth, the way, and the life. Glory be to the Most High God. You now ask the ultimate question whether you've been successful, that is as what society deems successful, you've been surviving to live or living to survive, with all these, you still find no fulfillment in life, no purpose of being. During one of your minister's sermons, he asked, what is your purpose? And do you know God's creative purpose for yourself? It is written in Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 37, verse 27 through 28. My son, prove thy soul in thy life, and see what is evil for it, and give not that unto it. 
For all things are not profitable for all men, neither hath every soul pleasure in everything. Amen. It is written in Revelations chapter 2, verse 19. Christ speaks, I know thy works and charity and service and faith and thy patience and thy works and the last to be more than the first. In the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 through 9 it is written the Most High God says for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith the Lord for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Amen. Finally, i like to leave with you to ponder. Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 34, verse 1 through 3. The hopes of a man void of understanding are vain and false, and dreams lift up fools Whosoever regardeth dreams is like him that catcheth at a shadow and followeth after the wind. The vision of dreams is the resemblance of one thing to another, even as the likeness of a face to a face. Amen. <laughs>